Today, we gotta go fast. As firstly, we check in with Hall Live Japan's Inagami Korone, who, as you can see by her banner, had her birthday celebrated by Sonic the Hedgehog. And yes, today is Sonic's birthday, with Korone joining the official 31st anniversary stream for Sonic, and then blowing us all away with this reveal. With the official Sonic Twitter account tweeting this out, Sonic and Korone's collaboration costume for the first time. As yes, it was a very eventful eventful and spirited stream, with Korone promising to show off this outfit many times in the future. As we also received this official announcement, letting us know that Inagami Korone has been appointed as a Sonic ambassador, and that various collaborations will be taking place. And the dreams coming true for Korone don't end there. With the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie soon premiering in August in Japan, retitled there as Sonic vs. Knuckles, it has now been announced that Korone will be one of the Japanese dub voice actors for the film. No word as of yet what role she has, but the fans are already on board, as Mayoi Neko brought us this rendition saying very cute, along with Filuz bringing us this Sonic Korone. And yes, Code037 is here letting us know I can't believe they added Ugandan Knuckles. And while Sonic and Tails have officially been VTubers for a little bit of time now, we now have a brand new VTuber to the Sonic team here, as today they officially officially introduced Amy. And if we're on the subject of small pink VTubers, here we have Chibi at Chibi Doki, a cyber girl VTuber, seen here celebrating Borger time, and insisting once again, I am not a dragon. Earlier this morning, tweeting out, you're not ready for what I have coming in July, I'm so excited. As recently, we also saw this Chibi, with Sega Prior collaborating with this VTuber as well, that being for Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage. And further along, we now check in with Sayu, the cyborg Seiyu VTuber, a voice actor gone VTuber, returning from a hiatus, and after a Smash Brothers stream saying, thank you everybody for stopping by today's stream. You guys are amazing and super generous. I'll make sure to donate half the revenue to colon cancer research tomorrow once I get the final count. This being a charity stream that Sayu ran in honor and memory of his good friend Billy Kamitz, an LA-based voice actor, who as reported on June 9th did pass away at the the age of 35, with this stream being in honor of his friend, Sayu would also say, Sorry, I broke down a bit during the stream. I didn't think I'd cry like that, just saying that Billy passed away. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And Sayu is back tonight with more Sonic the Hedgehog doing a full marathon, playing every Sonic game. And now some viewers may be asking, why am I a robot? Well, that was one of our milestones today, as we are also running a charity drive with Gamers Outreach. That being a part of their VTuber Summer Slam event, now running through today until Sunday, June 26th. This being potentially the biggest Western VTuber charity drive ever, as this group has reached out to numerous other VTubers and already reporting a new milestone being broken of over 17,000 USD. We've already broken halfway through our own milestone goals, and we'd love to see you over here on Twitch to join in on the fun and help the kids. And speaking of Smash Brothers, here we have Chen giving us a taste of that Hollow Myth off collab that involving Hall Live English VTubers such as Gao Gura meeting up with one another IRL and working hard to give us only the finest streams yesterday. With Gura tweeting out, mmm, so sleepy today, time to hide in bed with snacks. Uh, hey, hey. Wait, what? Okay, let's now turn to Takanashi Kiara of Hall Live English, who is also there at the off collab and having plenty of fun with the girls, as recreated here by Tall Geese, tweeting out, just wanted to update you guys that we won't be doing an off collab today due to having a lot of work for the whole day and still not done and elaborating setting up a mocap studio with three girls who don't have prior training whatsoever isn't something that works simply in one hour later reporting at 1 14 a.m in the morning eastern time finally got things to work stable enough to record something that also involving hall live english's nina my Eninus, who was hard at work becoming potato and going on to share this yago's laundry day taco of the laundry, what is your wisdom? Reminding us that sales for her birthday merchandise end on June 27th. Don't miss it. And we also don't want to miss Kayu, letting us know tomorrow or at this point tonight at midnight Eastern, 9pm Pacific. The first demo for Hollow Cure will be released for PC only. This being a Hollow Live fan game project, it will soon be available for all free, of course. The first demo will include all of EN for now. Please look forward to it. 
with Vicho Joe's Iron Mouse replying, I can't wait to play. And with KU replying, Oh, Mousy, thank you. I know you really enjoyed Vampire Survivors, and so I hope you'll enjoy this fan game similarly, too. And as a reminder, Iron Mouse will be joined tomorrow morning by another Hall Live English member, that being Maury Calliope, who is still rumored to be taking part in this off collab with Hollow Myth later. As Callie superfan Rosemary would share that Callie said this on stream, Callie found three fan arts with her sucking Guru's toes. She saved it on her computer. And yes, the very first thing that Callie wants to do when she meets Gura is show her these fan arts on her phone. <laughs> and very quickly with Hall Live Japan, we have Hosho Marine. Ahoy! As the Good Smile Company would tweet out, the Nindoroid of Hall Live Production 3rd Gen VTuber Hosho Marine is coming back for a re-release. Be sure to take a look and pre-order this time if you missed out before, with Marine herself saying they're going on resale now. To all you guys taking the Nindoroid Captain outdoors and saying, hey Marine, you can't follow me. Please be careful not to be seen by others. Very wise words as we now move over to Vishojo's Zentrea, who has been very happy recently and also featuring new red streaks in her hair from time to time. Also retweeting this Zentrea with RTX on as Leosaurus Rex would show us these renders of the new form for Zen. And yesterday was going great for Zen, showing off this new 2D gecko version of herself, saying, look at that face. Thank you, Daya. That was until things began to suck, with Zentrea later saying, today sucked. And minutes later saying, I'm taking a break from streaming until the beginning of July. This all due to parts of her house losing power and eventually killing the stream. A major hindrance for any streamer and trying to keep the good vibes. But yes, Zen was back on Twitter today, giving us a little bit more gecko fun, as we also have Somersault, the Twitch partner saying, head empty, no thought. Showing off this new chibi design. Also calls you pathetic in gremlin speech, along with smug, floppy ears, hand. As Somersault would proclaim, she did it again, ladies and gents. Dayariku, she made my dreams reality. That being Vyugen's Dayariku. Mastermind of both the 2D Gecko Zen and also the 2D Gremlin Somersault. Also showing up with that Cartoon Network palette meme and really making it work. And who's also working it is Mary at Mary Dog, lead writer of Merryweather Media and Dog Boy. Still pushing the hashtag of live dogging and featuring his numerous models here, including the Dayariku model of his in the middle. Thanking everyone for 100,000 followers on Twitch.tv. This coming after a collab with Nijisanji English's Vox Akuma. With Mary now letting us know we are starting production of Vox's story that I wrote for him. As mentioned during the stream, we will turn it into a professionally produced comic. Here's a teaser image created by our team member, that being the funny alien and cosmic entity Duke at Minister P. Duke. With Mary letting us know the comic will be posted by Vox from the start of next month. As right now, Vox is losing his mind. This potentially in relation to the countdown from Nijisanji Sanji English, which has been leaking all over the web today. As yes, we have Luxium's second unit song, which appears to be slowly releasing region by region, that being the new title of Jazz on the Clock. With many users already watching it on Billy Billy, it should now be released in most regions later today and tomorrow. Next up, we have Shy Lily, Orca VTuber, showing off her Gamer Sups cups here, saying they look absolutely amazing. So happy with the quality and how everything turned out. While earlier saying I'm happy, that mood unfortunately didn't last into the rest of the day. With Lily sharing your shuffles cards of random time periods, weekly reminder that I am not in VR chat and everyone claiming to be me is an obvious imposter. You can very easily figure out what I am up to by just checking Discord. Also, identity theft is cringe. With Lily showing off her verified badge on Discord here and confirming her only socials can be found on her card site with zero others, no hidden or private socials of any kind exist, except in an abandoned Instagram, and that's it. Further saying, it's cringe, stop using me, saying things and acting on my behalf. You are not an extension of me, nor do you have the right to act on my behalf. Lastly adding, can't have a hecking day off in peace, man. Every week, stop abusing my weekly day off. And now we get jiggly with it, it's Bao at Bao VTuber, currently attending VidCon and asking, what is this? this. Pointing out to this post by the Conquest Festival, who posted kind, passionate, and genuine to her fans. Bao is VTuber that you don't want to miss to converse with, saying face Bao and maybe even give her your fan 
fine arts in person during her private fan meet and free panel, along with Sins on July 23rd through 24th, but then hilariously using this photo of Bao, which is actually a year old photo. Yes, it hurts admitting this is actually a year old now. That being a mashup between Bao and her good friend Vienna, the cosmic dragon of Cloud9. And next up with more VTuber news, we turn to our co-host, Lady. Thanks, Falls. Voice actor, singer, and VTuber Amelie, aka Monarch, tweets out this lovely illustration from Timu Kai, saying, I'm no longer the moth. No, baby, I'm the flame. We'll also showcasing this very pretty acrylic stand. All physical products out for pre-purchase now for her original album debut, Rise of the Monarch, featuring Hall of Life talent Mori Calliope, which releases worldwide June 24th, along with a Villain Vibes music video featuring Mori. Cooking VTuber Onigiri shares this cup of ramen saying you want to be a winner, you gotta fuel like a winner. And also a congratulations goes to Giri for being so close to 100k. And not only being halfway there to her newest milestone, Giri also shared her collab this week with her cute monster brain dio, that being Bomb's project talent Amano Pikami. Onigiri would also be a guest of honor herself at Animathon, being able to share her passion of cooking and baking. Magical strawberry dragon girl Hanako shares this adorable little feet dance, that being a chibi model drawn by Jang Yu but also rigged by Jet Kuz. And speaking of rigging, bad VTuber Twin Tails highlights the eyes of the last four models she drew, with Shy Lily replying best mama ever, but also the worst kept secret ever as Mr. Clamps tweets out, here's a first look into my big Twitch adventure. Still a ways to go, but I'm so excited. Twin has been absolutely amazing to work with. Keep your eyes peeled for a second Twitter account coming soon. With Iron Mouse saying, Rat Brother, and Clem's replying, Mouse Sister. I'm also happy to announce that I, Lady, will be returning back to streaming while also hanging out with some lovely VTubers such as Buff Puff this Saturday. But that's not all, as I would like to announce that my live 2D rigging comms, as well as my character sheet commissions, are now open. Sharing this lip sync test of some of my rigging work, that being Muya VT, King of Cats, celebrated their special birthday with a Moo debut. And speaking of debuts, we have Kadu showcasing this illustration from Metro Zero Four, alluding to their debut, which occurred yesterday, celebrating not only five years of streaming, but also two years as a VTuber. Their model being rigged by Brie at Cookie Box, while their VTuber model illustration done by Sakurai Shu. And now, back to you, False. Thank you, lady. And we now have one week left for our auditions for Things VTubers Say, as we have two new roles that we are recruiting for, that being for Cody and Heidi. Application deadline is June 30th. Feel free to check the link below. Once again, we'll be running a charity drive for more streams this weekend, including tomorrow, as we are playing a six-player co-op game of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge game, where we will be joined by Jakado, Pumpkin Potion, Krembo, Koki, and Meat. And then further along on Sunday for our YouTube stream, we'll be joined on June 26th by Nana Nan and Nia Suzune of the Prison Project VTuber Agency. And that is all for this episode. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. Join our charity drive over on Twitch, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.